I'ma break the law, then I'ma break the bank I'ma put some in the safe, then I'ma throw some on the floor Definitely make some more Talk about me, they don't know me I'm not people, my people call me OG Not for that talk, I'm bossy So fly you can see me from my cockpit I'm a rude world hustle, how my mama told me Came to save my city and I'm feeling like I'm early when the hotline bling That's the money calling Life is no joke, but you niggas acting funny Like toothpaste in their mouth They can't wake up without me You don't know me, so why you talking about me? Like toothpaste in their mouth They can't wake up without me You don't know me, so why you talking about me? I'll be like hiccup for their throat When they see me, they go choke The money call me, no be joke You gonna do them longer trip Hey y'all, what's up, what's cracking? It's your girl, Nappy Girl, and I'm here live for my one-on-one -on -one session on Dope TV, so stay tuned. Okay, my name is Nappy Girl. I'm a rapper, singer, producer, entrepreneur, businesswoman. Name is, I'm, I'm in there doing basically everything. I got my name Nappy Girl from my last name, Napoleon. Nappy shop for Napoleon, so Nappy girl, the boss. <laughs> Chocolate chip, my kicker, make me wanna sit down, funny. Why music? Well, music is something that comes naturally to me. Music is something that I don't have to look for. It, it, it lives inside of me, so it was only logical for me to actually just share the sound with the people around me. So yes, music chose me. I didn't choose music. So I first started out in 2016. I put out a cover for the Young Image. Ooh, yeah. I was just goofing around with my friends. I did a cover for the song, and everybody liked it. I put it out December 31st, actually last day of the year. So I wanted to just know, like, if people were gonna be receptive to it. And by 2017, first week, I put it on sponsored ad, and I did like a what I like to call a Snapchat video mix. I took like random videos of me on my snap seeing that on TV with my friends and I made like a whole clip one minute clip I posted on Instagram and I did like a sponsored ad and there was just a lot of buzz around it so many people reached out to me artists people were just like talking about it and I'm like oh so if these people like this this is like zero effort and they're feeling it so why not just you know take this to the next level since I already had like a flair for it and I already found myself going to the studio so by 20 18 i had shot a couple of videos which which i still haven't put out i had shot a couple of videos you know in dubai and here and i was just in between projects not knowing exactly what i wanted to put out my, my business was taking most of my time i have a salon so that takes up most of my day-to-day -day time i barely have any time for myself i find myself in the studio right after work so barely have no time to sleep and the next day I'm back at work so like I'm juggling two careers at the same time so it, it was tough for me 2018 was like the toughest year I put out my single on me it was really lit everybody loved it it was such a good song it is still such a good song I think one of my favorite songs I've ever recorded and I put it out after shooting like two other videos that I was ready to drop I recorded that song and I said you know what I'm not putting out those two I'm gonna put out this one so I did that and uh, as of the time I put that song out, I was like, do you know what, I think I need to put out a body of work. I have so many songs laying around, Why? What am I waiting for? Because you meet people in the industry that keep advising you. There's so many people with so many advice and I'm not saying don't take advice. I'm just saying go with your guts. And fast forward, November 2019, I finally put out a project. And I'm happy it even took that long because some songs that were on the project would not have been on the project if I put it out earlier so there was a lot of selection process we were new songs recorded in the process of waiting for the project and I feel like everything just came together to make a wonderful EP the support from my family came really good considering the fact that when I was growing up my mom used to tell me leave me to go to school and I didn't even see myself as a musician then. I just, you know, was having fun with the music and she just thought like, you know, I was too drawn to it. So she told me, go to school, after school, whatever you do, I'm gonna support you. And I actually took that with me, even if I had no intention of going into music. But I said, okay, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing you support me every so. Basically, when I came out of school and music was the route I was taking, nobody was surprised. And they showed me love and support, very proud of me. My mom called me, oh, my colleagues are at work, saw your video, you know. 
always very excited. My brother's always there for me. They're busy right now, you know, you can see they're not like my bodyguards. They go everywhere with me, so, you know, my sisters. They show me love. Everybody shows me love. My aunties, my uncles, it's, it's all love. They, they wish me the best. They are, they are rooting for me, so I see, like, you know, they believe in me, so that keeps me going. All the girls in my red eye, you got me high when I feel five years I'm gonna be global like even before five years I'll be global I'm a hard worker yeah I know that it's not necessarily hard work but I'm also a smart worker so aiming to be on a global scale I'm not even trying to minimize my brand I, I don't see myself as just a Nigerian rapper I see myself as a rapper I'm taking the rap game I don't care where your location is just don't don't test me it's raw Yes, my style is raw. It's not the conventional kind of rap. I've had a lot of very, you know, experienced people in the industry tell me, why not try doing a rap like this and how I can do it? Why just trying to explain to them that I don't control my music. When I'm in the studio, it comes. And what comes, that's what I do. I'm not really trying to. Yes. Talent needs management, or I'm not gonna stay far away from my raw form, my crap. My music is very raw, you know, it's hardcore rap. It's what it is. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you probably hate it. But I'm not here doing music for people that don't like it. I'm doing it for the people that like this kind of music that I'm doing. I want to keep hearing this kind of music for so, yeah. Yeah. One of the tracks of my EP is a six track of the of the BBL A to A project and it features Magneto, you know. We kind of did the song in between while we were working on relationship with you like it was one of those crazy days. It was recorded by Wizzy Pro, the beat was produced by Wizzy Pro Beat. And we were in the studio with Wizzy Pro because he records us for relationship with like CD. So whenever he's free, we go track him wherever he's at and his studio is mobile so he could be anywhere. So we had gone to track him at this place where he was staying and there was so much chaos going on at the moment and we couldn't really focus on scripting what the relationship was like so we were already there but as well just catch a vibe and he just started playing beats this is what he does normally he started playing beats and I started vibing bad girl so then no like me jeans so tight for my shoes and Nike I was like ah let me get out for it you want to impress me for it <laughs> So you know, I did the first verse, it was really dope. Ah, Magneto no grill, Magneto said no, 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 no. I forget the rap like this, ah, no, 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 no. So you know, it was just a vibe. Yeah, my, I have my own label, Lumberjack Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, Lumberjack Entertainment, my label. We don't have like the best um, footing and funding, but you know it's a foundation I'm, I'm growing it i'm open-minded to any kind of like negotiable contract but first and foremost i'm signed to lumberjack entertainment any label that's gonna come for me we need to have a conversation with the whole label because i may own the label but you know we're a whole team so just trying to create a platform where i can give back because i feel like growing up there weren't really enough platforms and even entering the industry was so much of a struggle being that the industry is so tough so I want people to be able to benefit from me. I think that's why I said that the label. So I can give back. I can give I can sign artists, you know, when the money when the money starts to roll in from my own music, I can invest it in other people and give them an opportunity to actually showcase their talent. And I feel like that's gonna be very fulfilling for me to do. So you know, sign to my own label. So if I have the opportunity to work with an Nigerian Hilly's artist, I'm definitely going to start with Tila Savage because she's a power female like myself and I admire her. I've seen her work so hard. I'm a big fan of hard work. If you're talented and you put in work, I'm sorry. For me, like that seals the deal. I don't care if anybody doesn't see it, but Tila is so hard working. I love her melody, I love her tune, and I feel like she's going to give me that perfect balance. For, for a feature, so yeah, Tim Savage definitely with the ladies first, and then there's Nio. Nio has this, uh, this uh, so like she gives me vibes. Like, definitely want to get in the studio with Nio just to absorb some of that energy she's got burning. And then, you know, of course, with Skid, with Skid got the sauce, and he's been coming through with some trap throw in. Some, you know, UK features that we've seen him do his thing, but yes, definitely want to 
jump on something with like kids. What I don't like about the music industry in Nigeria is the fact that they don't like warmly welcome newcomers. There's always this belief that oh this person is trying to take a spot, my spot or something like that. But like there's enough space for everybody. Like the moment you yeah, if you can't think like that, I feel like you have a problem. And I feel like human beings generally, like even Nigerians, have this need to protect what they have. You have a lot of people that are old, like they need to retire, they don't want to leave their position, they are still there, you know. And then you have this, um, there's a lot of nastiness in the, in the industry, you really don't want to get too much into that because this industry is even tricky. By the time you watch this, I really have beef for me. So. Keep working, keep believing, don't give up on yourself, don't let the world tear you down and basically don't believe that there's a roadmap to success that is structured, no, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, hiccups along the way, there's gonna be a lot of gallops on the road, but if you stay strong and you keep pushing and you believe, first of all, you, you have to believe, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not doing anything. You have to believe in yourself and you have to be sure that this is your purpose and then you have to pursue it relentlessly till you get it because you definitely don't get it just keep the spirit up yeah um follow me on social media hit me up on instagram nappy girl underscore danny hit me up on twitter nappy girl underscore danny and if you're on snapchat and you just want to keep up with my stories and see what i'm doing then it's daniela underscore naps Snapchat. Those are like the social media platforms I'm on. Then you can definitely follow my YouTube channel so you stay up to date with my videos when they drop. So that's Nappy Girl Bevo on YouTube. And yes, I'm starting a series, a vlog series soon. So you definitely want to subscribe to my channel so that you can be the first to see what's going on, you know, behind the scenes. They say beauty comes with pain. There's always a price to pay. So no pain means no gain. You don't need no cuss in my lane. You do anything for fame. Me, I'm here to take the game. Uh huh. Nappy girl upon the beat. And I'm here live at Music in the Street. And don't touch that down. Keep watching. Wow TV. Africa. I'ma break the law. Then I'ma break the bank. I'ma put some in the safe. Then I'ma throw some on the floor. Then I'ma break the bank I'ma put some in the safe Then I'ma throw some on the floor